there for Boss once more. Here's Sexton with hands in midfield for Leinster. And they've started with decent purpose. Claremont continue to make the tackles. Isaac Boss, Jamie Heaslip, and Sexton away. And into the 22 go Leinster. And they hold on and Nathan Hines has Mike Ross on his shoulder. Good work from Leinster. In to clear out goes Strauss. It's there for Boss once more. And what a start this could be for Leinster. Boss has a look both sides to see what the options are. Slow right down. Clermont set their defence again. Eventually, Boss for the pack once more. Sexton. Darcy, little pass. Sexton on the loop. Good work again from Lencer. Jennings almost gets the pass away. Was it slapped down? Horgan's in. Shane Horgan's in. And the referee and touch judge have a little chat and the try is confirmed in the opening minutes. Absolutely, and can I say as well, brilliant refereeing by Wayne Barnes here because that was a deliberate knock-on. He could have given a penalty. Instead, he played the advantage and Shane Horn, Horgan drove it home. But what a brilliant start by Leinster. Despite the early mistake on the kickoff from Sexton, they've settled in quickly. We've seen that move so many times. Sexton on the wraparound. It creates the space on the outside. A little bit of gamesmanship there by Issa Nassiwa. He got away with it. And what a start for Leinster. Brilliant. Opening effort, commits as always, and it's inside that right up. Anthony Flush, good work from the fullback. And Claremont will be so desperate to strike back immediately. Para, it'll pop up, and again, it's through the hands extremely well. Malzieu sets it up for Para again. This has stung Claremont into action, and the ball did it go forward, referee says no, Brock James goes tearing through the middle, the out half almost there in his own, Rougerie in in support, Para caught in possession, that's good tackling from Leinster, uh, Leo Cullen tries to complete the job, it's thrown out by Jacque, and they have men out wide, but Leinster have scampered back and organised their defence, and they're into this rupt again, Nalaga, and out it goes once more, Leinster really tested in defence, set up again by Paolo and out they go through the hands of Rougerie and Flush and in and almost there, they are there so dangerous with the ball in hand and what a retort and all that started and the French do it better than anybody else in world rugby the way they can use that five yard channel down the touchline that's how they set Malzieu free in the first place and from them there they built on it and how fitting it was that he in the end finished it off but that is brilliant play. Saw an infringement at the last breakdown. It's against Claremont and the penalty is to Leinster. On its way again, and as soon as he struck it, he knew it was there. Boss feeds. Steady enough from Leinster. And here's Sexton. All sorts of movement in that three-quarter line. And then the gaps open up in front. And maybe an opportunity out wide for McFadden. And what terrific pace for McFadden. And the pass. Oh, lovely hands from Sexton as well. But it just didn't come off. And Leinster almost breaching the Claremont defence once again. Para. James. Nalaga. Paolo the hooker on his shoulder but Claremont running out of space down that blind side they go wide again and Leinster continue to make the tackles and Strauss did particularly well in the stand Marcel Michelin it's a cacophony of noise and Para delivers as you'd expect he should Claremont going through the phases once more Loaki was there a knock on there the referee doesn't seem to think so, not held in the tackle, so he's okay to get up and continue on. Para again, once more, Leinster make tackle after tackle. Clermont continue to probe. Nowaki out to Bonaire, Malzieu outside him, Bonaire goes inside and sets the ball up again. It's Thomas Domingo, a prop forward with Canale, the Italian international centre on his shoulder. It's Para set up again, Loaki. 
Leinster, how much longer can they hold firm as Claremont continue to ask question after question out wide and back inside and almost there and is there is Anthony Flush so hard for this I mean it's actually an achievement out there today to win possession at the breakdown it's so competitive but look at the desire and you've got to say it's no more than they deserve given that last phase of play by, by Claremont it was just wave after wave from Claremont not an easy one well, there. Dominic Ryan also boss picks it up and Mike Ross is the latest to carry but he's hit hard by Julien Pierre the substitute and the referee shrill blast of the whistle and the penalty to Leinster tick towards the hour mark of this enthralling encounter struck it well he struck all his kicks well Kashvili crop forward into the game in this second half. Paris having a real oh, difficult time digging the ball out there, and Lencer closed it off. The referee decided, and the penalty comes on the hour. Should be straightforward, is straightforward. Again, just slowing it down on this occasion, and slowing it down too much because Sean O'Brien was able to get in and steal, and it's there for Redden now. And what can Leinster do from here? Sexton to Darcy. O'Malley comes back on the angle, steps around one. Good work from O'Malley. And again, and Darcy on his shoulder to support. And Darcy breaks the first tackle, almost gets away from the second. And Leinster can sniff the try line of Claremont once more. Taken on by Dominic Ryan. Leinster there in numbers. Redden goes down the short side. Natewa, little back inside to O'Malley, almost there. And Leinster terrific play control required and patience now as Nathan Hines picks and goes but is repelled at the last minute Kean Healy will be next with Cullen on his shoulder Healy drives the legs but is held up two meters short Redden barks out the orders Jennings and Ross await where to now for Leinster another try would just be wonderful for their cause and he's almost there but the referee said he was tackled and was held and got up and went again and you can't do that back line. and away with it comes Bonaire who's been just an irritant for Leinster the whole way through this game and there's room out wide and onto it comes Malzieu and across come Leinster to make the tackles and didn't they do well because Malzieu looked like he was going to get away advantage being played to Clermont Para has the ball, gets Horgan as well, and the referee says that Leinster came in from the side. At that point, it looked like a try. And Malzieu connected with the ball. Ryan was there. He did ever so well. And this, a huge boost for them if Para can deliver, and he can't. And he's furious with himself. Better option as Claremont go looking for more why would they kick it away Horgan gratefully receives and flush and Melzio make the tackle no hands touch is where it should go it's where Redden puts the ball and that is the end of that and Leinster through sheer grit and determination and an A1 performance come away with a losing bonus point at one of the hardest places to play the game of club rugby it was an absorbing encounter the final score Clermont 20 Leinster 13